Stephen could say other things which would have people's jaws on the floor. Like, I don't want to financially support my wife and child. I, just I think people would be quite shocked by that. I mean, we just have different expectations from mothers and fathers. I just don't want to go back to men are from Mars and women no, are from no, Venus. No, no, I want to give some evidence of that. So there is hormonal research to show that men and women respond to nurturing differently. We have different hormones, different amounts of hormones. They come, it comes from different parts of our brain. Uh, women produce when they give birth, when they breastfeed, when they nurture their young, they produce a ton of oxytocin if they're healthy. Oxytocin helps you to attach to your baby, and it also is, is inversely connected to cortisol. So it lowers the baby's stress, it lowers your stress, and it raises the well-being of the baby and the well-being in you. And so what we know is that oxytocin is passed back and forth between babies and mothers, right brain to right brain connection. Oxytocin makes mothers sensitive empathic nurturers. It makes them very attuned to the distress of their babies. When fathers produce oxytocin, when they stay home, it comes from a different part of their brain and it makes them more playful tactile stimulators of babies. They tickle the babies, they throw them up in the air, they chase them around, they encourage uh, risk taking, they encourage exploration. They're great with, uh, with separation. But in terms of providing that emotional security and that emotional regulation in those early days, mothers do it differently. Fathers produce a lot of vasopressin. It's called the protective aggressive hormone. There was a study that was done where fathers and mothers lay in bed together. It was done in the UK. And when the baby cried, almost nearly every time the mother woke up in the middle of the night to the baby's cries and the father slept through it. But All when there was, to. wait, listen, when there was a rustling of leaves outside the window, the father's woke up and the mother slept through it because of the predatorial threat. We are wired. We are mammals. We are not better than mammals. We are mammals. And mammals have been doing this for thousands, for millennium. And evolutionarily, there's, there's a reason why we have different responses, different nurturing behaviors that are correlated with our hormones. We are not the same. We are equal in so many ways, but we are not the same in terms of our nurturing behaviors. That doesn't mean a father can't learn it doesn't mean a father who wants to be the stay-at-home dad can't learn to be a sensitive, empathic nurturer. But if we can't acknowledge that we're different, then we can't teach what we need to teach. You said we need education. We need all kinds of education, but you can't educate a father that he's different than a mother if you're not admitting that he's different than a mother. We are different. With exceptions. We're, we're equal, it's, it's not equal from, but different. It's not men are from Mars, women from Venus. It's overlapping bell curves. Mm. Yeah. So there are outliers, but but at the population level, which is what we're talking about, you have to acknowledge that there yes. are differences. Did you say that six, what was that number you cited? 